A Trump nominee for the federal bench dodging a question at her confirmation hearing about a landmark Supreme Court case. Let's discuss now. CNN political commentators Keith Boykin, Peter Beinert, and Matt Lewis. Okay. So I, I just want to place, this, this is some sound. It is a Trump judicial nominee answering a question about whether she believes Brown versus the Board of Education, the Supreme Court ruling that struck down school segregation, was correctly decided. Do you believe that Brown versus Board of Education was correctly decided? Senator, I don't mean to be coy, but I think I get into a, a difficult, um, a different, difficult area when I start commenting on Supreme Court decisions which are correctly decided and which I may disagree with. Again, my personal political or religious views, I would set aside. That is Supreme Court precedent. It is binding. If I were honored to be confirmed, I would be bound by it, and of course I would uphold it. Do you believe it was correctly decided? And again, I will respectfully um, not comment on what could be my boss's ruling, the Supreme Court. I would be bound by it. And if I start commenting on I agree with this case or don't agree with this case, I think we get into a slippery slope. Okay, so she was asked, asked at least one more time if Brown versus the Board of Education uh, is one of our country's, if it was correctly decided, it's one of our country's landmark racial uh, equality rulings. How can you be a federal judge and not answer that question, Keith? You shouldn't. She's, in my judgment, disqualified from serving as a federal judge or on the federal bench because of that answer alone. Brown versus Board of Education was a paramount decision in American legal history. It was decided on May 17, 1954, by unanimous Supreme Court. We're in, we're in 2018 now. <laughs> we have a Trump judicial appointment, appointee who doesn't know whether she can say if, it's a, if it was correctly decided or not. The idea is preposterous, but it's consistent with a Donald Trump who can't say whether the people in Charlottesville were right or wrong on either side. It's consistent with John Kelly who thinks that the Civil War was something could have been resolved if people just compromised more. And it's consistent with people in the Republican Party supported Roy Moore. Who, who, who said he, he favored so, segregation? There, uh, we don't have enough time for uh, all the examples that you, you could probably put out yeah. here and find people on both sides and all that. Do you, do you, Matt, do you expect someone to have a better answer than that? Yeah, look, I mean, I don't know why she did that. Uh, maybe she's not as familiar with the case. I, I, I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt she's that. She's a federal judge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but we have seen examples where people, where that happens. Um, my guess is that she was actually that this was a strategy that she went in there and 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 essentially was like, look, I'm not going to get into if they ask me about Roe versus Wade, I'm not going to comment on that. My personal feelings about that or whether the you know the the Supreme Court decided that right. If they ask me about Plessy versus Ferguson, I'm not going to go down that rabbit trail. The problem is, I don't think you can I don't think you can do that when it comes to this case. I think you have to sort of weigh in on it. Okay, Peter. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, she could have been trying to say that I'm not going to comment on any cases that have been decided before. Um, uh, and, you know, but this is, so, I just don't understand, <laughs> even if you were going to take that general view, why you wouldn't be able to make an exception for Brown versus Board of Education. And I do think, you know, as Keith was saying, there's a larger context here. When Donald Trump talks about making America great again, right? For, and there's polls that show this. A lot, of Ameri a lot of his supporters think America was better in the 1950s than it is today. There is a lot of nostalgia for the racial order that existed in America in the pre-Brown versus Board of Education age in the Republican Party today. Well, that ain't going to happen.